Hey everybody, it's Robert and you're watching Sidestep Adventures and today we're going to take a look at the Jim Hanna Cabin up here in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Now a little over a mile wilderness trail leads us to this amazing early settlement cabin up here in the Great Smoky Mountains in the Cataloochee Valley region. This cabin was built about 1857 if memory serves. I read a little bit about it before I got here but there's no informational marker or anything like that. And it was lived in until the 1930s. It's an amazing old log cabin up here. We're about to take a look at it. The floors are, the floors have definitely seen better days in this cabin. You can see, also it's interesting, as we've discussed with some log cabins in Georgia that were not chinked, neither was this cabin. You can see the logs exposed here with no mud or chinking packed between them. And if we go on the inside of the cabin, you'll see how these early settlement cabins were sealed up with wood nailed covering the holes in there, which also led to a drafty experience living in a place like this. Look at these big wide floorboards there. So absolutely, those are, those are over an inch thick, that thick. And it actually has a brick fireplace now this could have been added later. I'm not entirely sure on this, how this area goes. It does actually look like this, yeah, this fireplace has been reworked at some time and maybe rebuilt. It was probably crumbling at some point. So it's hard to say if this was originally a brick fireplace or not. If this back door will open, we can let some more light in here. Yeah, there we go. Oops, it's caught on the floor right there. Well, I guess it doesn't open. There it is. It doesn't open anymore. At least not much. I think not only the walk up here, but also just being able to see the inside of this cabin really gives appreciation for modest mountain settlement and early settlement throughout the entire southeast because there were many homes that were similar to this that were built by early settlers in the 1820s and after in the areas in which we usually film down in Georgia. Ooh, this is, yeah, these floors have definitely seen better days. I don't think the old cabin is too happy. Can definitely hear it creaking. Hopefully the park service keeps this cabin restored I actually see the roof is bad right there you can see light coming in through the roof so rain's probably coming in through there and I'm sure it won't take long for this for this to go away that wood is really soft right there so we won't walk there it's so actually this hole upstairs is kind of a little bit sketchy. Just a very basic cabin here with two rooms 
for living in. Ooh, those boards. Look at that, if you can see it. That's super sketchy. Super sketchy right there. Now, obviously I'm very used to walking in historic homes that are not in the best shape in the world. But anytime you're walking in something like this, especially something that has public access, you want to be very careful so you don't hurt yourself. And that's a way that the cabin is preserved too by making sure, because if people start coming in here and hurting themselves, then it'd be closed off and we wouldn't be able to enjoy it. It is hard to believe that, you know, there was a family living in this cabin and it was lived in all the way to the 1930s when the government acquired all of this land. It's interesting this side back here is open. I'm sure it was sealed off like all the other parts were. At one time it's just been removed. You can see there where they used a thinner strip to seal that right there. And then it looks like pretty much just scraps to seal the logs there. I bet this was a cold place on a winter up here in the North Carolina mountains. So I just wanted to give you a demonstration on how low this porch is here. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's just settled like that over the years or if it was built that low. Actually, it looks like it was probably built that low from the roof line. So it's interesting to actually look under the cabin and we can see what the floors are made of. They're actually logs themselves that have just been cut smooth on top. And all of the log construction here is very primitive. This is just a round log that's been flattened on top for a main beam right there. There's still a few signs of life in the cabin. We can see down here, just some old trash that was left behind in the form of an old wash tub. Of course, now that would be considered an artifact to this site. And of course, something else to think about. Shortly after this cabin was built, of course, all of these trees came from probably right around here. But shortly after this cabin was built, 
it said on an earlier historic marker I saw that this mountain was heavily timbered. So I'm sure that this was all cropland around here. As the Hannah family carved out a life up here in the North Carolina mountains. And today this cabin sits by itself up here as part of the history of Cataloochee Valley area, but there were used to be so many more structures out here. This is just one that the National Park Service or the Great Smoky Mountains Park preserved up here. So very interesting history. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.